he will use the agency of man. Glory be to Jesus. If he wants to use the agency of man, he will use the agency of man. If he wants to use the agency of systems, he will use the agency of systems. But one thing I know is that God is not bereft of options. He will always have the right option. And you see, it is such a powerful thing to see. When there is a human being that he can use, you know, yesterday we prayed that. The Bible said day by day, men kept coming to David. So that was the agency of man. There were men that God, there were men that God had, had, had put in place to help him. And the Bible said that God, the Bible said that the Lord, the Lord, the, the God, God helped David. God sent help to David. Everywhere David went, he found help. Men came to David day by day day, meaning that there was the agency of men where it was institutions and not men. God will always reach institutions as well. You cannot be stranded when your God has decided to help you. His supply will get to you. It is the mystery of divine supply. I want you to know this and never forget it. When it is my time for divine supply, praise Jesus. When it is the season of divine supply, my location and my place, my position doesn't count. If anything at all, number one, it will order my steps. If he wants to lead me to a place of prepared blessing, it will order my steps. If I'm already in the place, he will send the help to meet me. That was why when, the, when they were stuck in the wilderness, the Lord said to them, dig ditches. He said, you will not see wind. You will not see rain. Yet the valleys will be filled with water. The ditches will be filled with water. There is a feeling of water that comes by divine supply. I want you to begin to thank God because there is a mystery to divine supply that you will catch in this season that will give you comfort, that you can say, Father, I thank you that where I am, you will always find me. I want to, I, I want to encourage you. There was a testimony of a man that I read during the communist era. This man was imprisoned and he was taken to jail and he was badly, badly treated. And it was so shocking the way he was treated. And he was a missionary. He was a preacher and he was locked in a solitary confinement because they found the way he preached the gospel to be threatening. And so they decided to put him in a hole, in a dark hole, solitary confinement, where he had access to light no he had zero access to to light daylight and he had zero access to other inmates he was just there by himself and something powerful happened as if god will do his wonders the way only him does his wonders when you are in that kind of a hole it is easy to lose your faith you see you can only last for so long the extent to which your faith is deep in god but that something powerful happened he didn't have access to scripture he didn't have access to anything and he was just locked in solitary confinement it was such a difficult place to be and the and, the, and, and it was said that the this man out of solitary confinement to go and wash the toilets. They will bring him to go and wash the toilets. And there was one day he was washing the toilets and he began to see what looked like pieces of paper. And he took the piece of paper. He will keep it in his hand. He will take it back to his cell. He will just hold it and he will take another piece of paper. He will put it and take it in his cell. He just saw paper and he just wanted to start to put papers together. What he did not realize Oh, someone say, God, my God of divine supply. What he did not realize was that the papers he was speaking were actually pages of the Bible that the master in the prison turned and was using to wipe his body when he had done his business. And so he was wiping his body with the word of God and throwing it into the toilet for a, for a, for, for a missionary who was starving of the of God to go and clean it up. The man was picking it up and at some point he picked up a piece of paper that had a complete verse and he read it in that verse. I will never leave you, neither will I forsake you. He broke down into tears. God sent his word to a man in prison where he was in solitary confinement and there was no human agency to get to him. I am just here to announce to you, you are not out of reach. Mm. You are not out of reach. You are within reach. He will get to you. Anyhow, he will get to you. Anywhere, he will get to you. So you are not disadvantaged. Begin to pray. Say, Father, I thank you that I am not disadvantaged. Lord, I thank you because your word of comfort has come to me tonight. I thought I was in a dark place. I thought I was in a hole. I thought no one could hear me. I thought my screams were going to deaf ears. I have begun to even challenge myself. That is this God there for me? But he said, I have always been there for you. He is sending his word to you tonight. 
It is the mystery of divine supply. Divine supply will meet your demand in the least, in the most, in the least expected place, at the least expected time, in the least expected way. He will get to you somehow. When they were in the wilderness, he rained manna. And when it became difficult, there is no farm in the wilderness. There was no animals in the wilderness. And when it came time for meat, what did God do? God sent birds. You see, the God you serve has the universe under his command. He has the entire universe in his control. I know something for certain that that was what happened in the book of 1 Kings chapter 17. Your children are not disadvantaged. You are not disadvantaged. You will pray tonight like you've never prayed before. It is the season of divine supplies. All needs are met. What is your need? It is met. What is your, if you need an advocate to arise to defend you, it will be so. God will raise an advocate for you. God will raise a defender for you. God will stand up for you. He will, he will do things for you that will, that will amaze you. I want you to come with me to 1 Kings 17. Glory be to Jesus. 1 Kings 17. 1 Kings 17. It was the story of Elijah. After he had been sent to Zarephath to go see a widow, the widow was lacking in supplies. And in verse 13, Elijah said to this woman, I read the New Living Translation, he said, don't be afraid. He said, because the woman has said, he said, I just want to cook the last meal so that myself and my son, we will just, we will just end it here because right now there is no food. If we eat this last meal, that is all we have. And Elijah said to her, he said, go and make me food. Go, just make me a little bread and then use what is left to make food for your son and yourself. And then the Bible says, this is what the Lord God says. Verse 14, saints of God, your word is in 1 Kings 17, 14. This is what the Lord says. He said, the Lord God of Israel says this. He said, there will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers. Ah, Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I will not run out. <laughs> yes, this is somebody's word. I will not run out. I am not burning out and I will not run out. Lord, you have said it. You said there will always be flour and left in my containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crop will grow again. In the season of farming, there was a miracle. You see, farming is very dangerous. The crops had failed. There were no wheat to trash and there was no olives and olives to turn into olive oil. And this woman was in a place of lack because hunger is what goes on when you have this drought and then there is farming and people are just not having access to food. And the Bible says, the Lord said to this woman, he said, there will always be flour and olive oil left in your container in a season of famine is called divine supply it's called divine supply it is called the mystery of divine supplies i want you to thank god for divine supply he said there will always be flour and olive oil left in your container begin to thank god wherever you are say father i thank you there will always be flour and olive oil left in my containers my containers will not run out my containers will not run dry my containers will not go empty there will always be flour and olive oil left in my containers lord i praise your holy name for indeed I have flour and I have olive oil left in my container. I have more than sufficient. So here the saints of God, here the saints of God, the context was the context of farming. The context was the context. So don't tell me they are making people redundant. I get it. They are laying people off. Glory be to God. But what is your story? In the season of farming, God said to somebody, he said there will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers. I, 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 and that's someone to say, to say to someone here, that in the season of farming, glory be to Jesus, in a season when people are being laid off, you will always have people coming to you to say that there is an opportunity for you. You see, this is the beautiful thing here is that this woman did as Elijah had said. And the Bible said uh, the woman and her family continued to eat for many days. I want you to begin to pray. Say, Father, I thank you. Because by the mystery of divine supply, I am sustained. Ah, to Jesus, I am sustained. I am sustained. I thank you, Father, for sustenance. I'm sustained 
by the mystery of divine supply. Lord, I thank you. There will always be flour and there will always be olive oil. I am sustained. I am sustained. I will not run out. In the name of Jesus, I am sustained. Somebody here needs to realize the power, the power of what God is doing in this place tonight. For you will be sustained. You will be sustained. You will be sustained in the name of Jesus. I am sustained in the name of Jesus. The mystery, the divine supply of God will sustain you. You are supernaturally sustained in the name of Jesus. Look at what it says. And it, it said this, and I want to announce to you. The Bible said they continue to eat for many days in the season of famine. Everybody else was, must have been hungry. But what happened was that God gave a word and said for you and your family, he said there will, you will not run out of flour. Every time you take your flour jar and you pour out of it, flour will come out of it. That flour will not run out. I've seen this miracle. I've had this miracle happen in this, our contemporary times. How that a man of God, when there was no food in his house, he will bless his empty pot. And he will say to his wife, don't look into the pot, but go and take spoon and serve me a dish. And by, by the divine supply of God, there will be, there will be food coming out of the pot. We, so men have worked with God, radical faith in the things of God. They saw this miracle raw happen in our own times. And I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. In the book of, in this same book of 1 Kings 17 and verse 16, I want to pray for you as I release this word over you. He said something. I love this. I, I, if, you're, if you're reading with me tonight, because we pray with scripture here. If you're reading with me tonight, verse 16 will make you smile. Verse 16 will make you smile. He said it. He said, there was always enough flour and olive oil left in the containers there was always, I want you to prophesy. I say there will always be flour and olive oil in my containers. <laughs> yes, if I break it down, your containers are the different aspect of your life. Your family life is a container. Your friendships is a container. Your job is a container. Your career is a container. And he said you always have enough flour and enough olive oil left in your container. He said there was always enough you have enough all needs are met in the name of jesus every need under the sound of my voice every need is met every need is supernaturally met lord i thank you because all needs are met in the name of jesus he said just as the lord had promised elijah just as the lord has said he said as he Mr. According to the word of God, begin to experience this mystery. I pray for you in this season. You will experience this mystery of supernatural supply. As you have need, may your needs be met. All your needs are met. In the name of Jesus, every need you have is met. By this principle of divine supply, I pray for you. You will see the hand of God supplying. You will see God supply. You will see him do what only him can do. Whatever your need may be, he will supply. I say every need is met by the mercy of God. Even as we explain the dimension of ordered steps, that the Lord will order your steps into prepared blessings. But I want you to know, that even as your steps are ordered, I want you to know something that wherever you may be in terms of your location, as long as you are where you need to be at this point, my God will send help to you. Mm. Supplies will find you. Supplies will find you. Supplies will find you. There were many widows in Zarephath. Why was it that one that God chose? That woman did not leave her location because the instruction was not for her to leave her location. The instruction was feed the man of God. And as she fed the man of God, the word of God came, said to you, this woman, there will be enough, always enough left in your jar, flour and olive oil. My father, my father, I bless you. I thank you because I have more than enough. I thank you because as I lift up my eyes to the heavens tonight, I stop my murmurings. 
I stop my complaints. I stop my, my pity party. But I turn to the heavens and I say to the Father, I turn my eyes onto the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the, from the Lord, the one who made the heavens and the earth. Father, I have turned my eyes onto the heavens and I thank you because all needs are met. From your only hill, you have heard my cry. Out of your only hill, you have sent help. Thank you for angels. Thank you for men. Thank you for systems. Thank you for institutions. You have sent men to me. All I have needed, your mighty hands have provided. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Father, I bless you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you're doing. In the name of Jesus, this is my time. My needs are met. All needs are met. There is the divine supply. What do you need God to come through for you on? If you begin to say it now, I'm agreeing with you in the place of prayer. I'm agreeing with you in the place of prayer. Right now, all needs you are putting down, they are met. You, you see, tonight, today, today, two people, Two brethren reached out to me today that God had blessed them with jobs and that they were not just ordinary jobs, jobs that were fully visa sponsored. In fact, three. I have received three such testimonies. We've been praying on this platform for jobs. Between Sunday and today, Wednesday, I have heard three powerful testimonies and saints of God. I'm not talking about small jobs. I'm not talking about getting by jobs. I'm talking about real deal jobs. Jobs that if you heard about them, you will rejoice for them to say that this one, it can only be God that elevated you. This week, I have had three of them. And I want to thank God because if you need a job, he will supply to you a supernatural supply of a job in the name of Jesus. Yes, someone says job for, your, for themselves and their sisters. I agree with you. I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, all needs are men. I see someone saying their total well-being. Whatever it is that you're psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, we pray for you, woman of God. We speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, all your needs are met. You will just realize that all of a sudden, people will begin to send you words that will lift up your spirit. God will begin to send it to your space. Genuine people who care about you, all your needs are met, that your total well-being will be actualized in the name of Jesus. Everyone looking for promotion in their career, in the name of Jesus, that need is met. There is a supply in your direction of the opportunities for elevation. In the name of Jesus, someone is asking for salvation for family members. Every salvation related matter, may God meet with them. I pray that as God met Saul and his name was Saul on the road to Damascus, may God God meet them because he will supply where you cannot reach. He will send evangelists to reach them. He will send people to reach them. He said, for I will send laborers. He said, pray therefore that I will send laborers into the harvest. Let the laborers that have been assigned to your loved ones find them. They will not miss their appointment with the, with the one God has appointed in the name of Jesus, that they will surely be saved, that they will receive Jesus and they will with him in the name of Jesus. Every healing related matter, I pray for you the supply of healing, a divine supply of healing in the name of Jesus. All job matters, you will testify. God will supply jobs, divine supply of jobs, divine supply of healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for divine supplies. Yes, all salvation matters divine supply of salvation in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make it happen. Everyone looking for enlargement in their coast regarding their businesses, the Lord will supply opportunities, opportunities for enlargement, a divine supply in markets that they say things are tight and things are constrained. The Lord will make room for you. Your Rehoboth, he said, we prayed it a couple of days ago. He will make room for you. He will supply the space. He will supply the place where you will be found. He will supply the room where you will be established. He will make room for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless you. I pray for you in agreement. All needs are met. I pray for you that between today and tomorrow, you will have testimonies. 
how God has met your needs. Supply of healing into your body. Let healing flow now in the name of Jesus. Let as many as need healing, let the power of God flow now. Let there be a supply of power now of the healing power of God. Let it flow into people from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Make contact with the screen if you can. I want to pray for those who need healing. Make contact with the screen. There's going to be a flow. My father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your children, as many as need healing right now. Thank you because as my hands make contact with the screen, father, there is a flow of your power, of your healing power, a supply of your healing power into everybody making contact with the screen now. Thank you, Father, for instant healings. Thank you, Father, for instant miracles. Thank you, Father, for supernatural turnarounds in health-related issues. Thank you, Father, for wholeness on every side, spirit, soul, and body, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, precious Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Every family settlement supply. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you all richly for joining us to pray tonight. May the Lord honor your sacrifices in the place of prayer. We love you. We delight to pray with you because we just love to bring the mind of God to you so we can press in together. So you know this is a season of divine supply. You are not permitted to experience lack. When if, you, if you see lack, look up to the heavens and say, Father, your word to me in this season is that it is my season of divine supply. So I am grateful because now I receive supply from heaven and that supply meets that need and I am therefore not stranded in the name of Jesus because all my needs are met. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you all once again and don't forget to share your testimonies with us on testimonies at dtransformatechurchuk.org that's testimonies at dtransformatechurchuk.org don't also forget to share with us your prayer requests on prayer at dtransformatechurchuk.org come this saturday we are three days away soon to be two days away from what will be one of the biggest events of the year. It is the Prophetic Prayer Conference 2023. If you know anybody who needs to be registering for this event, who needs to be a part of this event, tell them to register and be there. Come Saturday and Sunday, 16th and 17th. We have Minister Sinach. We have Reverend Adi Adefala. We have Kingsley Ike. We have Evangelist Daniel Chan, a powerful man of God God is using in this season. And we have, of course, Reverend Sam and Mary Oye. They're coming live and direct. And it's going to be a powerful one in the name of Jesus. So please register, send it to your loved ones. Be there. And Jesus will be glorified and your lives will not be the same again in Jesus' name. Well done, everybody. Thank you once again. And we wish you a beautiful night rest. See you tomorrow, nine o'clock again as we're present. It's still the season of divine supplies and there'll be amazing supplies in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you and see you tomorrow. Amen. Bye. Awesome. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor.